Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here. I'm back and we sold some stuff too. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales. I go to estate sales. This weekend, I went to North Carolina. I find stuff that I think I can sell for a profit online. Mostly, I do that on eBay. And yeah, I was in North Carolina this weekend. Montana, North Carolina. Well, as you're looking at it, it's reversed, right? Montana, North Carolina. They're a long ways apart. It took a couple of plane trips, a, a delay, actually going and coming. I had a delay. It, it was a very long trip. Uh, it, it was worth it. End of the day, it was worth it. I got to go hang out with Kevin Commonwealth Picker, Dave the NC Flipper Picker Chef guy. He was there as well. Eric OBX Picker was also there, and I met a whole bunch of you. Actually, uh, that that was just as cool. You know, I got to go on Friday to some garage sales with Eric and with Kevin. That was fun. Dave joined us a little bit on Saturday and got to meet uh, Kevin's aunt and uncle. And that actually two sets of aunt and uncle. That was really cool. A great family. And I, I really owe some thanks to them. We'll, we'll do that. We'll, we'll throw some thank yous out there because some are owed. But first, let's take a look at what I sold while I was gone. So this is Friday. Well, really part of Thursday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a few early Monday mornings. So this is a pretty long stretch. I did put the store on vacation. About halfway through, I decided to take it off. Now, the what if part of me worried, you know, hey, what if I don't get a plane back? What if something happens and I'm stuck and I'm not on vacation, right? But I finally did decide a couple days in, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to kill that vacation mode. Hopefully it brings stuff back to the store. I think it did. You know, I, I put the vacation mode on starting on Thursday because I flew out on Thursday and nothing really happened on Thursday. Really nothing happened on Friday. The weekend things bounced back. And so I do think that being on vacation really did have a pretty negative impact on the store. I guess they call it time away now. Whatever. Same difference. But all in all, yeah, I think it was a really good weekend. So any hit that the store took was worth it. So let's take a look now at what I sold over the last, uh, let's call it four days. Lots of packing to do <laughs> this day. I don't get to ease my way back into it. I've got to dive back in with all this stuff. Thankfully, it's all easy to ship, easy to pack stuff, but the quantity definitely there. How about some video games? Wii U Hyrule Warriors. This one sold for $9.98 plus shipping. We've got a couple of other games down here. I am going to have to stop this a few times and move stuff around. There's just too much stuff. This is a good one. This is the two-for-one power pack. So you get two games with this one. You get World War II Aces and the Indianapolis 500 Legends. And I guess this one is actually a pretty rare combo pack, turns out. $28.79 plus shipping for that. We've got one other game over here. Not high dollar, but this is Star Wars X-Wing Alliance. This is for the PC. Old PC game. And this one sold for $9.98. Free shipping. That's it for the games. We do have one movie that we sold this weekend. Fear and Loathing. In Las Vegas, it used to have a slip cover, and unfortunately, we're missing that, so it hurts the value. But still, it sold for three forty nine plus shipping. Not much, but movies so easy to list and to ship. I bought three vintage hacky sacks at uh, at a sale. We got out of there for I think it was forty dollars for everything, and we're already in the profit on that sale. And I didn't see a lot of them out there like this and there wasn't a great sell through rate. So we got everything so cheap. I just put them at a good price and two of the three have already sold. There was actually four, but one of them looked like it had broken open at some point and the little beans had come out and they stitched it closed. So I didn't want to fiddle with that one. There were three in there that were good and they sold for $4.99 plus shipping. So we got this guy with the little purple 
on top and then this one with the teal pattern on top old woven hacky sack 499 plus shipping on each of those two separate buyers picked those up sold a couple of patches this is a harley davidson patch of course the classic eagle eight dollars 54 cents free shipping i think i sent out an offer on that one obviously going to go out quite cheap and then an old montana hunter education patch really cool unused blaze orange this one sold for $15.99 plus shipping. Some of those patches, pretty solid, guys. Schleich, you guys know I pick up Schleich horses. Actually, any Schleich figure tends to be relatively resellable. And this one, little walking horse, Palomino, sold for $9.98 plus shipping. I have a whole little smalls bin full of nothing but Schleich figures, actually. Elvis, the Christmas album. This is still sealed. Pretty cool. Most Elvis stuff, really not worth that much, I've found. But it was new and sealed. I got it with a bunch of other cassette tapes, so figured why not. I took an offer of $3.50 plus shipping for that. We've got music from the motion picture Titanic. It's a soundtrack on cassette tape. $3.99 plus shipping. We'll set you up there. Ooh, he took a spill. We'll get him in a minute. This one, eventually, I think, would have been a little bit better. It's super niche, though. And so when I got an offer, I took it. Trio and Error. I don't know. This was part of a big bulk cassette tape buy. We sold one or two, and we were in the profit, and we got dozens of them. And so this one actually is going international. I took an offer of $10 plus international shipping to the Netherlands. So cassette tapes. Going everywhere. This little guy, you remember these? The Glowworm? This is the Clutterbug. And I got this with a whole bunch of random figures at a garage sale. Paid like $5 for the whole pile, and we've been selling them off. Making pretty decent money by the end of it. He sold for $9.98 plus shipping. We don't want to miss this over here because it's pretty cool. We sold one of these a little bit ago. This from a buyout, and now we sold the other. This is Bumblebee. It's an old Radio Shack Trying to get it to flip around here. Radio Shack RC car. So the gun is the controller, I guess. And then you drive Bumblebee around. Really cool. And it sold for $25.59 plus shipping. Another international sale on this one. Verbatim Data Life. Is it data or data? It's like spelling gray, right? Who knows? I don't know. The old three and a half inch discs. Remember, we sold the five and a quarter inch uh, last week. So that new and sealed old media will sell. This one is going internationally. Fifty-seven forty-five Australian dollars. So the verbatim packages headed down under. This is a cool sale. Pick this up off of a hat. A hat had a couple pins on it. Took them off, selling the pins separately. This is really neat. It's it's raised up. I know it doesn't want to focus there. There we go. See how it's raised up. Old NHRA pin. And this sold, guys, for $15.99 plus shipping. Not bad for a little pin. We actually have... Where are they? Let's look at them real quick because we have some other pins as well. So these three all going to the same buyer. We've got a pair of old beer cans. we got Schlitz in there, Budweiser... Pretty cool old Milwaukee on the side there. This is actually an old Milwaukee by itself. And then we've got, this is a Jack Daniels bottle. And so all three of those picked up by the same buyer from our vintage pins. I've got more, but I'll be honest, they disappeared into the death pile. And so at some point this winter, I'll find them again. And we'll start listing those. But those sold for $19.96 plus shipping. So pretty solid little bunch there. Keep those all together. Put them in a little bag here in a minute so I don't lose them. Here we've got some vintage Converse All-Star shoelaces. This is just new old stock packages of shoelaces. And I put four of them together. And they sold for $44.79 free shipping. But obviously, it's going to be very light to ship those out. They don't weigh anything. Probably get them out at the four ounce rate, actually. So I'll move you over here. This, it's uh, still in there. We sold one last week. Now we sold the second we had. It's a little uh, security camera, not super high end, 
but they do have a good sell-through rate, and it sold for $19.19 plus shipping. Dumbo is wearing a Patagonia hat. It's a Patagonia hat that's still brand new. Pick this up at that sale where I bought all the hats off the table all at once. And this one is actually headed to Canada. Sold for $35.19 plus that international shipping. Lots of international orders. And that tends to happen when you sell internationally. The fourth quarter starts early for you, for the international buyers. Because they know it takes longer to get there. And so I do see an uptick in international orders right about now. And I think that's what a lot of this is. Dumbo, I got this off a Harry Tornado Whatnot event, actually, and really cool plush. It's still got the tag on it. And there you go. You see a little bit of it back there. This one uh, is a uh, Disney World, Disney Parks plush. Super, super soft. It's really cool. I had it listed at about $15. I got an offer, and then I countered, and they accepted the counter offer. So $14 plus shipping for that guy. Another plush here. This is a Republican convention, actually. Look at that. Biennial convention in Seattle, Washington, back in 1999. Still has the hang tag on there. Got this out of an estate sale and paid just a couple dollars for it. And it sold for $13 plus shipping. That a counter offer that I sent out after, I think they sent 10. I came back at 13 and they took that. One other here, as far as the plush, not real high dollar. One of the Thai Beanie Boos. This is the Owl. I don't remember his name, but it's right there on the card. He sold for $1.99 plus shipping. Let me move some of this stuff, and we'll look at more. All right, I think I got it situated over there, but we're not going to lose any of it. I wanted to put some of those pins in baggies, too, so they wouldn't get lost. I'm not going to move those around because it's loud. But these are vintage wooden handled screwdrivers and there's one of them that had a chip on it but all the others were in pretty good shape these don't really sell by themselves but people do like these and so i lotted them up i bought a whole bin of screwdrivers from a guy for five bucks we've already sold several things out of there we're not gonna make a ton of money on them but we're certainly gonna make money i have more to list they'll fit in a padded flat rate envelope which is very nice very easy to ship them that way and they sold for $18.56 plus that priority shipping. We've got a G.I. Joe guy here. This is the Army General. And there's some damage to the box. See, look at it on the back. It got smashed. But the figure inside is perfect. And so the Army General G.I. Joe. These are not as expensive, not as valuable as I thought they were when I picked them up, but we're still going to make a little bit of money on them. They were part of a little bit of a bulk deal, and I paid up on those to try and get a better price on other stuff, and I think it worked. This guy sold for $24.31 plus shipping. I got another one of the Swarovski crystals. This is actually the last one to move out. Little Piggy. This Little Piggy has been sold. $22 plus shipping for that all profit at this point. Back here, the, uh, look at that. It is from Berkeley, fishing gear. It's a little small canvas creel. I actually sold this, you might remember, sold it once before. And the buyer didn't like it, said they didn't think it was high quality and it wasn't big enough for what they wanted to do. I mean, I whatever, I don't know, high quality. It's from Berkeley, it's, I mean, it's a brand name, but that's fine. I accepted the return, they paid for shipping and I just sold it again. $15.99 plus shipping. We've got the catch down here. This is a San Francisco 49ers shirt, unfortunately. The catch, a uh, play against the Dallas Cowboys. There's Dwight Clark back there. 1981 NFC Championship game. Niners won that one. This was a stadium giveaway last year. Bought this along with some other shirts from uh, the Vintage Viking actually on one of his whatnot shows and uh this sold for 9.98 free shipping i bought this one from a whatnot auction a while back it's been sitting around but i got it for a couple bucks and it's just cool it's yogi the thrill of the grill a vintage shirt it had been sitting for a little bit i wanted to get a little bit more out of it but it had been a little while and i thought yep we've got to help sales after it slowed down a little bit being on vacation for a few days so the yogi tea i accepted an offer of 13 dollars plus shipping. I've got another t-shirt here, but let's grab this one first real quick. It's an old, it's a tent. It's a little trinket box 
Really, really cool, these things. I think this might be the last of the trinket boxes that I had. And this one sold for $22.39 plus shipping. Garth Brooks, the Garth Brooks t-shirt sold. This is a vintage single stitch shirt from the Fresh Horses Tour. This one not as valuable as I thought it would be. There's just, it's a vintage shirt. Great graphic. Got the tour dates and stuff on the back. It's just, as vintage shirts go, there are a lot of these out there, unfortunately. But I priced it up a little bit, and it ended up, like a lot of stuff this weekend, going internationally. Garth is headed to the UK, 59.62. Great British pounds. Let's move on over there. Sitting here in this flat rate envelope. I don't want to move it because it'll collapse everything. But it's a pair of pants. It's some rigs that's put out by Wrangler. We sold a pair of those before. You might remember seeing those on a what sold. And now the second pair that I had have also gone out. And I had those sort of pre-bagged in the padded flat rate envelope because that way I could tell the difference. They look basically the same, but there were very slight differences between the two. So I didn't list them as quantity. I listed them as individual listings. And in one of them, in the SKU, I put PFRE. And that way I knew that they were the ones that were in the envelope when they sold. And so I'm not going to try and pry them out of there because that is a chore to shove them into that thing. But they sold for $23.67 plus that padded flat rate shipping. Got, a, I think, maybe one more of these. These have been sitting around for a couple years, slowly selling. Got them from a buddy of mine here in town. The uh, Spirit Halloween Instant Club Bunny. So I had various bunny costumes. And it's just the ears on the headband, stuff like that. These tend to sell pretty well. You can ship them first class. And people sort of like that instant costume. They don't have to put a lot of work into that. And it sold for $9.98, free shipping. And then we sold this guy internationally as well. This went this morning. Pog Hockey. It's pretty cool. It's uh, not got a great sell-through rate here in the U.S., but that's okay because I didn't ship it, or I won't ship it, to somewhere in the U.S. It's actually headed out to France. I had a watcher on it, and so I sent out an offer of $30. They accepted it. So they're paying the $30, plus they're paying international shipping to get it over to France. And some ducks going out. People getting their ducks in a row. That's what the Mountain Man Treasure Duck will do for you. This one, we're still not sure. Showgirl duck or drag queen duck? You be the judge. I don't know, but it's going out to Pamela. <laughs> Pamela, thank you so much. These three, brand new. I actually listed these while I was at a layover in the Chicago airport. We got the glitter ducks. You can really see it on the silver guy. Look at all the glitter in there. These are cool. There's still some more glitter ducks in there. And actually, I listed some other new ducks today. And some that are duck adjacent they're not really rubber ducks. They're rubber animals. So if you like other animals, we do have a few randos in there. But these three, the silver, yellow, and pink, are all going out to Kimberly. So Kimberly, thank you so much for that. And we'll slide that row on back. Look at that. Those ducks are already in a row. We got Dracula duck. He's got the fangs underneath there and the hair. Super cool. That one we actually bought from a, uh, a kid that was selling some ducks to try and save up to buy a smartwatch. And so that was pretty neat. This one is going out to Garrett. Garrett came into the store a little while ago and bought a video game, had us autograph that game actually, and wanted some good luck for his new store. Seems like things are working out, he said, but he's obviously missing a piece to the Castlevania collection that he's got. And so Dracula Duck is headed there. So Garrett, thanks so much, my friend. I sure appreciate you. Not bad stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with those sales, and uh, like I said, was very happy with my trip, despite the two travel days, which were brutal. I, uh, I, I had a lot of fun, and it was great getting to go down there and meet some folks. We're going to have more traveling in the future, for sure. Uh, I, I do, like I said, owe some thank yous. Uh, I owe, of course, just to Kevin, uh, Commonwealth Picker, for uh, having me down there and for uh, driving me around on Friday and hanging out with me, going to garage sales. I, I learned a lot, honestly, from watching him in person at the sales. 
Uh, it was uh, it was something else, you know. I, I was picking a few things, but I was watching him as well and learning from the way that he operates. And uh, he's just a, a fantastic friend, and uh, I really appreciate uh, appreciate him hanging out, Eric as well for hanging out with me, and I uh, got to learn from watching him as well. I don't know what I learned from Dave, but I had a good time hanging out with you on Saturday day. I'm um, just kidding. Dave is actually a really good picker, guys. I don't know. He he fools you. But he, he's actually really good. Uh, he, he did well uh, on, on Saturday for sure. Aunt Lori and Uncle Mark were just very, very gracious and uh, just very nice people. So thank you so much. And uh, Uncle Steve, Uncle Steve cooked dinner on Friday night. And uh, the man knows how to grill a steak. Steve, well done. It was really good. It was fun kind of getting together and hanging out with everybody. And uh, Steve is a good picker in his own right. Uh, he He's quite good. I, I think he ought to have a YouTube channel, frankly. He does have an Instagram. But uh, Steve, thanks for dinner. Thanks for inviting us into your home. I do want to thank Brian Klaus. You're going to see him coming up in some videos uh, because we went garage sailing with them a little bit. Actually, the first sale that we were at, my GoPro, the battery didn't work right. We had an error there, and so we lost the footage for that. But uh, I, we will see them in some videos for sure. And uh, Brian and his lovely wife, Lynn, were just, uh, they, they were incredible. They ha helped hook me up with a hotel room down there and, and really were a big part of the reason I, I was able to make the trip. So Brian, uh, thank you so much. And like I said, your, your wife is fantastic. So thank you so much for uh, for being such a great guy and for helping me out. It was a lot of fun getting to know you better and hanging out with both of you. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I also owe some thanks to Jason, uh, Jason, a viewer of the channel. And I, Jason, start the YouTube channel, my friend. Like I said, we talked about it. You can do it. You know what you're doing. You're an interesting guy. You've got a cool story. And I, I really think that uh, that you would be successful if you worked on starting a YouTube channel because you've got that work ethic. You, you will put the time in. And I think you'll be successful. And I think you'll help a lot of people. But I owe Jason uh, a huge thank you uh, because I had to leave Sunday morning. I had to leave my hotel at 4.30 because the hotel was about a half hour away from the airport. And so I had to leave at 4.30 to be to the airport at 5.00. That that's rough, right? And uh, Jason said, I can take you. And so Jason, my man, he actually texted me. He was there early. He was there 10 minutes early and said, no rush, but I'm here. So Jason took me all the way over to Raleigh uh, from where we were staying in Wake Forest. And so 4.30 in the morning, took me over there, dropped me off at the airport and went back because he lives there in Wake Forest. And so an hour out of his day early in the morning, that was really cool, man. I can't thank you enough for uh, for what you did there. That that helped me out a ton and relieved a lot of pressure. So, Jason, thank you, man. And again, thanks to everybody that I met. We had a lot of viewers come up and say hi and uh, you know shake my hand and introduce themselves. And I got to hear some stories from them. And I got to help some of you guys shop a little bit. I only had so much room to bring things back. It was weird being around so much great stuff and not being able to pick it all up. I actually had to give some of my purchases away. Um, well, I had to. I actually was thrilled to, to be able to uh, pay back some of the people that helped me out with some of my garage sale finds. And, uh, you know, but it was, it was weird not being able to buy everything that I saw that I knew was great because it just wouldn't fit in my carry-on. I had my bag and my carry-on and I couldn't fit it all. And even though I tried to limit myself, I still still bought too much stuff. And so I, on Saturday, sort of turned into a personal shopper and was grabbing stuff and saying, here, put that in your pile. Here, this sells for 40 bucks. You take it. It was, uh, it was actually kind of fun to uh, sort of shift the lens a little bit and buy for other people. Well, they still paid for it, but I found it. That was kind of fun. So no video over the weekend. I just, I, I really got very, very busy. I actually got home about uh, five o'clock my time and went to bed for several hours. Woke up, ate something and immediately went back to sleep. Slept all night into the morning. I, I had to catch up on sleep. The time change and early mornings, it was rough. And so I just, I, I didn't have enough time to put out weekend videos, but they will be back. And so more videos to come this week, garage sale videos, sourcing videos, there's there's a lot of good stuff coming. So guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me for this. Thank you for letting me bring these videos to you, for being a part 
of this family, of this weird YouTube mountaineer family. Guys, see you tomorrow. Thank you.